Hello everyone, um, I got a chat script here that I pulled some of the files off the internet and um, I tweaked the shit out of it, I made it custom, I made it the heck how I want it. It has a lot of bugs when I first got it, I spent hours upon hours working on the script. But I'm giving you guys right now, before I complete the script, um, the ability to tell me what you want. I'm not going to guarantee everyone that their stuff is going to get in here, but I'll try my best to include as much as I can. If your script didn't get in here, if your uh, request didn't get in here, I'm sorry, but I just didn't have the time. Um, this this thing is pretty much done the way I wanted it, but if you guys want something else in there, I'll stick it in there. In this script, you guys have the ability to do so much, and I'll show you guys in a second here. Okay, when it comes in, it has a screen like this for you to log in. If you haven't yet logged in or created a password or username or anything like that, you might want to create one. So you click register, and it takes you to here, username, password, confirm, register once you register it's going to take you back to this screen log in so i have two users that i create ccc which i think my cap lock is on yes so ccc and let's log him in and kkk kkk might sound a bit racist i know but um i wasn't thinking about that when i do it so i'm just going to select you can select different fonts i'm going to select his font as red There we go. Now two users are logged in and shows you who's logged in over here. It says you have KKK and CCC. But KKK is this person and it shows you who you are here. And you have the ability to go offline or busy if you want to go busy or something like that. See, it shows you in red now. It shows you're not available for chat. So you have the ability to do that as well. It should change back. There we go. So let's say this people, this one type, hey. It should show up over here. This guy says, How's it? How are you? It should show up over here. As you can see, his color, his font color is in red because he specified login that he wants it to be red. So I just want to show you guys that work. These work as well emotions or smiles or whatever you want to call them. They do work. So just want to show you guys that those work. And you guys will also, let's say these two. In a chat room, let's say there's a hundred people here chatting, but these two were like answering each other's messages back and forth and feel okay, we should we should have a private chat or something like that. So let's say you know KKK can click on CCC to um, start a private chat with him. I'm not sure if I clicked or not, but let's see. There we go. He should get a message pretty soon telling him that KKK, there you go, telling that KKK wants to chat with him privately. So, PKK can type whatever he wants. I'm just going to show you until CCC picks up. He picks up. You see immediately what KKK typed and he can answer whatever he wants. You know what I mean? So, the only thing I've seen here, which I might add, but I, it's been kicking my ass trying to figure out how to do that without messing some things up. I added in, but it's messing something up. So, I have to figure out. It's add the smiles and emotions down here in the private chat. Um, I will definitely figure out a way how to do that. But anyway, and let's say these two got in a heated argument. You never know. This is the United States. People sue for shit. Even though it's very hard to tell who is who and where they are. But sometimes people will go the extra mile to find you. And if they do find you and say, okay, you said this or you said that. You know you didn't say it. You have the ability to print. So you can hit your print button in your chat room. And you can print all the chat that you had with this guy here. So, And this only happened in the private chat room. So I'm going to cancel, close, and close. Okay. You also have the ability to clear. Let's say you have a whole bunch of shit in here and you don't know, you know, you get confused and you just want to start, start over. You'll still be able to see what users type. You can just clear out everything that's in the window and start, and it will start show you what users are typing refresh. Let's say you want to go back to see, okay, what did this guy say to me again? Refresh. And it should bring everything back. So that's how. If you guys are, when you insert this in your website as an administrator, you're going to have the privilege and the option of blacklisting people. So if this two people, this guy is always a, saying something rude or nasty in the chat room, you know, you, you have the ability to blacklist. And let's say somebody click contact on your website and say, okay, chat in the chat room, KKK is being really, really rude. You can go in and take a look at KKK's chat history and blacklist them because it, it, uh, 
it records IP address so you can go and blacklist list this IP address so he can never be able to log in this chat room again from his IP address so just uh, a few features that I added in that's been added in here so hope this helps hope you guys uh, are very impressed with it so far and if there's anything else you guys want to be added in here please send me a message and I'll do it I'm gonna close this script off in another week or so and I won't update it anymore so another, another cool thing I want to say before I go when you upload this to your server you get all the files that works everything you're gonna get my my logo you can just add your own logo you know what I mean? you can get my logo in there but you can add your own you feel free to change it around however you want and but when you upload it to your server the first time you try to run this script it's gonna pop up with a, a screen install and you, when you click install, it's going to run you through a bunch of setups. So you choose the options you want. Do you want your users to use username or password? Yes or no. Uh, do you want to um, optimize this for iPhone? Yes or no. You know, you have a couple options that you got to choose when you um, install. Once you install it, you're going to have to set some permissions. But when I upload the script, I'll explain all that. So again, send me messages of what you guys want to see in here. And I'll try my best to do it. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps. See you guys later.